Hey guys, good morning. Happy Saturday. I'm going to turn this down a little bit. All right, welcome to Strength. I'm Nicole. This morning, all you're going to need is your weights and whatever you've had up to this point. If you have something lighter and heavier, that would be great. Um, or just use what you've got. And I'm this morning, I'm going to use um, my bigger bench. But if you have a step bench or chair, um, you might want something like that. But just, or you can use the floor if you don't have either, either of those available. Remember to start your watch. All right, we'll give this just a minute. See if people get on there. Good morning, good morning, welcome, welcome. I just got done warming up, so I'm already a little sweaty. All right, so if you're just joining me, all you need are your weights. A towel and a bench if you have it and I'm using my bigger my bigger bench this morning but if you have a step bench that would be great um, or you can just do everything on the floor too so all right let's go ahead and get warmed up we just start with our marches remember to give me a thumbs up if you're out there leave me a comment so we know that you're watching Nice, easy warm up. Nice job, you guys. Happy Saturday. Eight more. Four, three, two, and one. All right, let's get those hip circles with that little shuffle. Good job, you guys. Good morning, good morning. Just wanna check that that's still going. Four more. Four, three, two, and one. All right, we're gonna work a little balance with just a little leg swing. If you need to hold on to the wall, bench, chair, but you're just getting a little swing through that leg. Four, three, two, and one. And then we're gonna take it out to the side. Good morning, good morning. All right. Let's do a little front and back. Front and back so that standing legs getting nice and warmed up four three two and one right there good job shake that leg out all right go to that other side just with that swing front and back squeezing that glute when that leg extends back <sighs> relaxing that hip flexor Good job, you guys. Good morning, good morning. Hey, sister. And we're gonna take that leg out to the side. Side front, side back. Side front, side back. Good job, standing legs, working on that balance and stability. Abs are pulled in. Good job, four, three, two, and one. Right there, all right, let's go ahead and get a little stretch for those quads and that hamstring. So just an active stretch. I'm gonna just take one foot behind and switch. One more round. And then we're gonna just take it in front reach for that toe bring it up reach for that toe so getting that little hamstring stretch <sighs> nice and easy good job you guys keep going good morning good morning if you're just joining me we're just getting warmed up 
little hamstring stretch. Four more. Four, three, two, and one. All right, we're gonna do one set of air squats right here. So we're gonna just take it down and up, down and up. Nice job, you guys. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Right there. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually start with some squats this morning. Squat and lunge combo. Um, squat, you're just going to be holding one weight. So we're gonna do like a goblet squat where we hold it right under our chin, just like we just did in our warm up. but you're holding one weight. So maybe you can grab something a little bit heavier than you normally would. <clears throat> so you're gonna hold that weight right here. <clears throat> Feet are about hip width apart. We're gonna squat back. You can almost get those elbows to come down to your knees and then Press those heels into the floor. Down and press. I feel like I'm not really on the screen very good. I'm gonna scoot this back a little bit. Is that a little better? Okay, keep going, sorry. Just like last weekend, my camera crew never showed up. So. Good job. So sitting back, push those heels into the floor, squeeze those glutes, pull those quads up. Just holding that one dumbbell right under my chin. Got that nice line from the top of my head all the way down to my tailbone as I set it down and then squeeze up. Down and up. Good job. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one more right there. So you're gonna hang on to this weight and we're gonna just take a step out to the side come back to the center. Step to the other side, come back to the center. So on that side lunge, I know you can't see my feet very good. For some reason I'm, I'm struggling this morning. I'm gonna move this down a little bit, see if that makes a difference. I think that's better. All right, so on that side lunge, both toes are front, sitting back, come back up, and then step to the other side. Squat or lunge back and here. I just don't have a lot of room going side to side. <laughs> oh my goodness. Happy Saturday. Good work, you guys. There we go. So still got that dumbbell right under my chin. Can I do this without weights? Yep, I can set that weight right there. So that side lunge, getting that really good stretch in my inner thigh, pushing this heel into the floor. Side lunge, stretch, push that heel. There we go. Good. You can do all of this with, with or without weight. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Right there. I'm gonna give those legs a little break. If you have your bench, this was part of my problem that was crowding me. 
So I've got my bench right here. I'm gonna do some push-ups on here for my rest. All right, maybe I'm just holding a plank. Maybe I'm farther down on the ground, which is gonna make it more difficult. Maybe I'm doing regular push-ups, awesome. Maybe I'm on the wall, maybe I'm holding a plank. Lots of options. So abs are pulled in. Make sure those hands are right under those shoulders. Good. Pull that belly button in. Can I even have a foot like this? Yep, sure. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Little stretch there. Good job, you guys. Get a nice little stretch. All right, we're gonna do a second round of those uh, lunge squat combo. I'm gonna give myself a little more room this time. All right, so starting with that goblet squat, feet are hip width apart. I'm gonna take it down and press up. So I'm just getting my elbows to hit my knees if you can, all right? See if you can get that low. Maybe you're not that low yet, maybe you're right here. Still pushing those heels into the floor. Pull up those quads. Good work, you guys. Remember, you can do this without weights or do as many as you can with your weight. But if you need to set it down, set it down. Remember to breathe. Inhale down, exhale up. Inhale down, exhale up. Good work, you guys. Come on, try to challenge yourself. Maybe you get a little lower. Maybe your weight's a little light today. So maybe you're going faster than me, okay? Try to challenge yourself. We're gonna do eight more. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one right there, nice job. All right, we're gonna stay right here. We're gonna go right into those side lunges. Big step to the side, set that rear end back, come back to the center. Good work, you guys. Getting a little upper back arm workout just by holding this weight here. Good job. We're gonna feel that good stretch and then push back to the center. Breathe. Nice job, you guys. Come on. All right, eight more. Eight. Seven, six, five, four, three. Good work, two more, come on, two, and one, right there. Good job. Set those weights down. If you need to shake out that upper body, just that upper back. You may have been feeling that just by holding that weight. Grab a little quad stretch. Good 
Good job. All right, grab a quick drink if you need it. Otherwise, let's do one more set of those push-ups, whether you had them on your bench, the floor, step bench, wall, plank. We're gonna shoot for 12, okay? So this is just a little extra chest workout for today because then we're gonna go into chest press. All right, so abs are in, squeeze those glutes. We got 12 push-ups, your pace, here we go. Nice job, you guys. All right, I'm gonna slide my bench all the way around. So I'm gonna use this bench for chest press. All right, that'll work. So go ahead and grab whatever weight you're gonna want for that. So this is our chest press. We'll be laying down on the bench. You can lay on a step bench. You can lay on the floor. If you're on the floor, you, you may want to do chest fly so you have a little bit more range of motion. All right. chest slide those shoulder blades down abs are in nice neutral position take it down and press down and press <sighs> inhale down exhale up remember if you need to have your feet up on something right you want to keep that back flat so if you feel like your back is arching then bend those knees and bring them up on the bench or wherever you you are at. Good job, you guys. Just nice and controlled in both directions. All right, we got eight more. Eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Right there. Nice job. All right, you're going to set one of those weights down. We're going to go right into triceps. So you're gonna take that weight. So you've just got the one heavy dumbbell, slide those shoulder blades down. Get just a little bit of an angle right there, just where the weight starts to want to fall to the floor. You're gonna lock it in right here. And then you're just bending at your elbows right there and then extend. Down and press. Down and press. Try to keep your elbows in. Good work, you guys. Come on. This should be challenging. If your one weight isn't heavy enough, maybe you need to grab two weights so each arm has to work. Good. Bend and then extend and squeeze the back of the arms. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, 
Hold this at 90, hold this at 90, 90 degrees, it'll press, 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 press. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Woohoo! Good job. All right, we're gonna give that chest and tricep just a little break. Since we're here, let's do a little ab. We're gonna just do a basic crunch. So hands are light behind your ears, your head, and just lift up. Good job, you guys. Pull that belly button into your spine. Hands are nice and light. Just crunching that chest up, using your abdominals, not pulling on your neck. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Let's take it into bicycles right here. Rotating that shoulder. Have you guys eight seven six five four three two and one good job whoo I just wanted to make sure I didn't fall off that bench all right so we've got another set of that chest press hopefully you're starting to sweat a little bit all right, so grab your weights. Slide those shoulder blades down, find that nice neutral position and take it down and press. Down and press. Good work, you guys. So when you come down, you just feel that little stretch across your chest and then press it up. Keep breathing. Good job. Inhale down, exhale up. All right, we've got about eight more. On the last eight, I want you to curl those hands together and then come back out. So they come up, curl them together so your palms face each other. Think about squeezing that chest a little bit more and down. Here we go. We've got eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, one more, and one. Right there. Nice job, you guys. All right, so one way down, going right into those triceps. Whew, triceps should be burning already a little bit. So remember, you've got that little bit of an angle, so the weight just starts to fall and you catch it. And that's where we're gonna start and stop. Bend those elbows, keep them in narrow. Bring that weight right to the top of your head and then press up. Down and press. Down and press. If you get tired, just take a little break and then join back in. They should be tired. Triceps helped us on those push-ups and that chest press. Good work, you guys. Come on, here we go. Home stretch, eight, seven, 
seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold it at 90, 90 degrees. Little press. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Woohoo! Good job. All right, open up that chest, get a little stretch before we go on to one more set of abs. Good job, just sliding those arms up and down, opening that chest, shoulders. Place those hands lightly behind your head. Start with that little crunch. Good job. If you can crunch higher than this, by all means, go for it. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one bicycle, and here we go. I'm gonna try not to fall off here. Keep that back pressed against the floor. Go at your pace. Really think about getting that crunch and that oblique. Eight, seven, six. Five, four, three, two, and one. Right there, a little stretch. Good job, you guys. Whew. Use a knee to roll up. Or if you're on the floor, roll to one side. Whew. All right, since we're here, it just only seems right to do one set of dips to burn those triceps out. So, I'm gonna slide forward. Dips are optional, you can do these on the floor, you can do those on a lower bench, if you had a chair, you can do them on the chair, we're just doing one set. <sighs> Pushing the heel of your hand into that bench. <sighs> just burning those triceps out. Come on, come on. All right, eight more if you got it. Here we go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Yoo-hoo! Good job. Let's get a little tricep stretch while we're right here. Grab a drink if you need it. All right, we're gonna do one arm row using our bench. Okay, so again, if you don't have a bench, if you have a step bench, you can do it on here. If you don't have a step bench, you can always uh, do a two arm row or you'd use your leg for support instead of the bench. Just gonna grab a quick drink. All right, so we got one foot on. Back is flat. I'm gonna pull that weight right to the top of your hip bone. Shoo. Belly button is pulled in. Think about squeezing that shoulder blade. Gets a little stretch there and then Squeeze. Good job, you guys. Eight, seven, six, five, 
eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, I'm gonna switch sides. Right here. Here we go, back is flat, abs are in. Squeeze that shoulder blade. Good job, you guys. Nice. Come on, exhale up, inhale down, squeeze that shoulder blade. You got eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Right there. Good job. All right. We're going to do a single arm bicep curl. You may want to lighten up a little bit for this one. All right, so if you've got your bench, your chair, a couch, a seat, anything that you can sit like this, because then you're gonna place that elbow right on the inside of your leg, and we're gonna just do an isolated bicep curl. Good. This isn't working for you. Could you stand up? Yep. All right. You could do the seated, but we're just trying to isolate this one side, not getting any swinging involved. Eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Right there. Good job. All right. Are we doing on time? We're doing okay. All right. Switching sides. So that elbow is on the inside of that other leg. And just curl and down. Curl and down. Good job, you guys. Exhale up, inhale down. about eight more. Here we go. Eight, seven, six, five. Come on, you got this. Four, three, two, and one. Right there. Good job. Shake those arms out a little bit. All right, so we're gonna grab that single one for the one arm row. If you switched your weight out, that would be the little bit heavier one. All right, so back is flat. Gonna pull that weight right to the top of your hip. Squeeze that shoulder blade. Good work, you guys. Come on. Really squeeze that shoulder blade back. 
just looking out in front of my hand, trying to keep my neck in line with the rest of my spine. sides. Back is flat. Here we go. Lift and down. Lift and down. Good work, you guys. Pull that belly button in. Keep that back flat. Squeeze that shoulder blade right there down and squeeze, down and squeeze. All right, we've got about eight more. Eight, seven, six, make each one count, come on. Five, four, Three, two, and one. Right there. Nice job. Set that off to the side. All right. You have your isolated curl here. So you're just taking that one dumbbell, put that elbow right into the inside of your leg, and curl it up and down. Up and down. Squeeze. Good job, you guys. Seven, six, five, nice and controlled. Come on, if you can't finish it, that's okay. That would be the goal that you fatigue that muscle. Four, three, two, one more, and one. Woohoo! All right. One done, one to go. All right, so that elbow's right on the inside. And lift, curl, and squeeze. Good job, you guys. Come on. Keep working. Don't lose that form. If you need a break, take a break. All right, let's get eight more if we got it. Eight, seven, six. Come on, squeeze. Make each one count. Five. Four, three, two, and one. Woo, good job. All right, stretch those biceps out. Nice work, you guys. All right, we're getting down to the last few exercises. Grab a drink if you need it. We're gonna do some bridges on the floor. Ooh. 
You can do this weighted or not weighted. I'm going to turn my bench. So my feet are going to go up on the bench. Okay. If you have a bench, awesome. Right, your feet can go up on the bench. If you don't have a bench but you have a chair, maybe you can go up on the chair. You could use a couch. You could use the bottom step of your house. All right, so whatever works for you. I think I'm still in here. So if you had weight, you could rest that weight on those thighs. If you wanna do this without weight or try a couple without weight, so I'm gonna, my bench is really high, so I've got my feet right on the edge. If it's a little lower, I would put your feet flat on your bench. You're gonna press up. Think about squeezing those hamstrings and squeezing those glutes. Take it down and press. Let's get both those hamstrings and glutes working on this one. Good job, you guys. Press those feet into the bench so you get those hamstrings and then really squeeze that butt. Come on. I, I'm still here. Come on. Come on. Breathe. Four. Three. Two. Hold this one up. Hold it. Little pulse. Here we go. Lift. Four. Three. Two. One. Take it down. Bring it up slow. Little pulse. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Take it down slow. Two, three, four, up. Two, three, hold it. Pulse. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. Take it down. Last set. Two, three, four. Lift it up. Two, Three, here we go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Right there. Good job, you guys. Oh, I don't know what to stretch first hamstrings or glutes. All right, get a little hamstring stretch while you're down here. Straighten that leg. Cross it over. Pull that knee in so you get a nice stretch your glutes. And let's straighten that other leg. We do have one more set, so we will stretch these again, but I don't think we could over stretch our hamstrings and glutes personally. For most of us, they're extremely tight. All right, roll it to one side. I'm not gonna have a lot of room here, but I want us to do a couple um, pointing dog. So where you alternate um, arm and leg, you extend and then come back to all fours and then extend that other side and back. So just getting the back side a little bit, I'm gonna scooch this way which means I'm gonna be off a little bit, but now you can see. So extend, abs are pulled in, and then come back to all fours. Extend the other side, opposite arm and leg, and then come back. Just looking down at your hands, just working that back side. more. 
two more on each side. Really extend from one side of the room to the other. Abs are in, last round. Last one. Good, and sit back. And let's get a child's pose right here. Good work, you guys. All right, grab your lighter weights. I'm gonna switch my weights out really quick. I would say like 10 or under for shoulders because we're gonna do a kneeling shoulder raise. So just by kneeling changes that a little bit. All right. Oh, hold on. All right, so right here, I'm gonna just do a lateral raise. Abs are pulled in, squeeze those glutes. Good job, you guys. Just raising those arms about shoulder height. Good job. Remember, if you need to modify this, you can bend those elbows 90 degrees. Just imagine you've got strings tied to those elbows, though. Eight. You can always alternate. Seven. Six. Five, four, three, two, one. Good job. All right, while we're here, we're gonna do eight overhead presses. Right here, abs are in, glutes are squeezed. Eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, one. Nice job. All right. So we've got one more round of our bridges and shoulders. We will be done for today. All right. So if your bridges weren't challenging and you didn't have any weight, maybe grab some weight this time. All right. If you need to go faster than me, go faster, slower, slower. Okay, make it work for you. Like I said, I'm putting my feet kind of on the edge because this bench is so high, but if your seat or bench is a little lower, you can probably put your feet flat on there. Really get those hamstrings. So you're gonna lift, squeeze those hamstrings, and then squeeze those glutes. Come on. Good job, you guys. Come on. Four. Three. Two. Hold it up. Four. Three. Two. And one. Bring it down. Here we go. We've got four. Three.
three. Keep sliding a little bit. Two. Hold it up, little pulls. Four, three, two, and one. Lower it down. Hang here just for a second. All right, we got eight singles. Ready. And eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Hold it up. Little pulse. Come on. Here we go. This is it, you guys. Come on. Squeeze. Squeeze. Press. Press. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Oh, crazy shaking legs and feet. All right, get that stretch. I'm going to start with my hamstring. Good job, you guys. All right, come on, take advantage of this stretch. Breathe. We're just taking a little bit of extra extra time with these last two stretches while we're down here. Cross that foot, pull that knee into your chest. Really get a nice glute stretch here. Did all those squats and side lunges at the beginning. Breathe. Good job. All right, switch sides. Start with that hamstring stretch. Might have one side that's tighter. This is mine. Cross that foot over, pull that knee into your chest, get that nice stretch in your hips, glutes. Good job, you guys. We're on the home stretch. We just have the shoulders and then a little more stretching. Okay, fine, 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 fine. <laughs> I can just hold that stretch for about 10 more minutes. I need to hold that stretch. All right, so we're gonna do that lateral raise, kneeling, right? So nice and tall, shoulders are back. Four. Three, two, one, bring it up, shoulder press for four, four, three, two, one, bring it down, four, three, two, one, Four, three, two, one. All right, guys, one more round. If you need to alternate, alternate. Here we go. Four, three. Come on, you got this. Two, one. Here we go. Four, three, two, one. One, right there. Nice job, you guys. Set those weights off to the side. All right, while we're down here, let's get a nice hip flexor stretch. So take a big step forward, keeping that knee right over your ankle. Nice job this morning, you guys. Just under an hour of work with stretching, so don't leave me yet. Come on, get these stretches in. For a little more stretch, bring that opposite arm up.
Good work. And switch sides. Front knees are right over your ankle. You're just leaning forward, getting that hip flexor. Keep breathing. For that little extra stretch, bring that opposite arm up, reach over. Good job, you guys. Come on, stay with me. Be so glad that you did these stretches and didn't skip out. All right, while we're down here, let's get a child's pose. So we're gonna just set those hips back. Reach those arms forward. So you're getting that stretch all through your hips, your low back, shoulders. Okay, we're gonna take one of those arms and we're gonna thread the needle. So you're gonna slide it under and then you're gonna look at that hand so you're getting a little more shoulder stretch, spinal stretch. Keep breathing. Bring it up. Sorry if you can't see me. Lean back, slide that, so thread that needle. So you slide that hand under and then you're looking at that hand but you're on the floor. Good job, bring that arm back. All right, down dog, press those heels to the floor. So hips are high, press those heels. Think about lifting your hips to the ceiling. Maybe you need to alternate one side at a time. Walk those hands back, and I want you to just hang there for just a second. One more little hamstring stretch here. You can just clasp those hands and just let that gravity help. Legs are straight. Keep breathing. And place those hands above your knees, bend those knees, and we're gonna round that back up and roll it up. Oh. Roll those shoulders back. Good job, you guys, and let's take a nice deep breath up. Inhale up, exhale, lean to one side. Get that nice side stretch from your fingertips all the way to your hips. Inhale up, exhale other side. Inhale up, and that is it. Awesome job, you guys. Thank you guys so much for joining me this morning. Have a great weekend, and stay safe out there. Get outside, enjoy the dry weather for a moment. All right, you guys, have a good one.